Hey y'all, this is Kirk with Wellspring Landscape Services and I have some pretty bad news today. I have worms. So, well, I don't have the worms, but this tree at our office that is up above me has worms and specifically web worms. So I thought I would uh, share a little bit about what, what web worms are and what they do and how to get rid of them. So um, they are, they're kind of exactly what they sound like. They're worms that create webs in the branches of trees and then they feed off the growth um, of the of the tree on the branches so uh, and that's that's kind of what they do and so up above me where you see those webs so there are thousands of about inch long worms in there that'll eventually turn into about inch long white um, moths so that's what they will turn into so this is the pupil stage of the of uh, what will become a moth and um, so they damage the trees they, they rarely will kill a tree but they're certainly very unsightly uh, they're very gross um, and they do create a lot of stress in the trees. So it is a good idea to try to get rid of them. So how do you get rid of them? Uh, one, of course, is insecticide. So you can call, call a pest control company and get them to come out and spray them. You can uh, buy hose attachments that can spray up in the, the branches of the trees and get them. Uh, you can use a power washer to, get again, get way up in the branches of the trees and, and spray them with the insecticide. Another organic way to get rid of them, this is what my grandfather did, was get a long uh, cane pole or get some kind of extended pole and go up there and break the webs open. When you break the webs open, then that exposes the worms to predators. And the, one of the main predators for the worms are wasps. So as much as we don't like to have wasps hanging around our house, one of the good things that wasps do is eat the webworms. So you do have to go up there and break those nests open, break, break the webs open so the wasps can get access to the actual worms. Another thing my grandfather did, which I don't recommend, is he would take a rag, put it on the end of a stick, soak it in kerosene, light it on fire, and then he would go up in the, the branches of the tree and basically burn all the webs out. So um, highly effective, <laughs> also uh, not so great for the environment, and uh, might get you, I mean, neighbors might raise some eyebrows on that one. So don't really recommend that one, uh, but you can certainly break, the, break these webs open and let the wasps get at them. So, so that's what's happening here. Um, they can get on uh, fruit trees, oak trees. This is a pecan tree. Um, and uh, they seem to be uh, much more susceptible to it. Um, most of our clients who have pecan trees are either in river bottoms where there's deep soil or east of I-35. So typically don't see a lot of pecan trees out in the hill country area. So, uh, so that's it. That's kind of the story of webworms and what's happening. If you have any questions, call the office. If not, we will see you next time, okay? Thanks so much. Bye.